Hello there Potter friends, it's Brandy with Simply Potter and welcome back to my channel. Today I am talking about all of the awesome Harry Potter things that are going on in 2019. Now just know that these are all things that are either on my radar or my calendar so there are probably some things that I don't even know about yet. So if there's something that I don't talk about in this video that you know about, be sure to drop them in the comments below because I want to know about all of the Potter 2019 things. Now I plan on making individual videos for each of these as they occur or I go to them. So be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by clicking the subscribe button and notification bell down below. I've put these events in chronological order with the first one happening next weekend. So let's get to it. So as some of you know, usually the last weekend of January is a big weekend for Potter fans. Usually at Universal Studios Orlando, there is the celebration of Harry Potter where a bunch of us get together, go all out in cosplay, and just geek out in the parks all weekend. And Universal usually holds an expo, they have actors there who do panels, and it's really, really fun. But this year, for whatever reason, Universal decided that they weren't hosting it, or Warner Brothers decided that they weren't having it, or what have you. So the fans stepped up and decided to hold an unofficial event that is in no way affiliated with Universal or Warner Brothers, and I'm really excited for it. It should be a really, really good time. So there are at least three groups uh, that I know of that will be holding events. One of them is like a you know, group I've never heard of, but they're doing events Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, including a wand raising for all those that we've lost, a viewing of the Hogwarts Castle light show in one of the evenings, and they're doing some cosplay contests, what have you, and then the Central Florida Slug Club is hosting a whole slew of Harry Potter meetups, and they're having a costume contest and a couple photo challenges on Saturday. And on Sunday, the Weasley's Whimsical World of Harry Potter Facebook group will be holding a cosplay character scavenger hunt trivia challenge. That will be a lot of fun. I'm participating in that as a cosplayer. And I myself with Simply Potter will be hosting the annual photo shoot at 2 p.m. next to the Jimmy Fallon ride, kind of in that Metropolis backdrop area. I was thinking about not doing it this year since there isn't an official celebration, but I've done it for the past two years and I couldn't skip out on this year, so that'll be happening as well. And I'm also going to be hosting a Thursday night Harry Potter game night with my friend Danny. If you're interested in any of these events and you're planning on being in Orlando next weekend, I will throw links to all of the events in the description below. It should be a really good time and I will be filming a lot of videos for the channel while I'm there. Now speaking of Universal, another big Harry Potter thing is coming this year to Universal Studios Orlando. The date is unknown yet, but there is a new Harry Potter ride coming to the theme park. It's going to be in Hogsmeade, and we don't know a lot of official information about it yet. There's been a lot of information that's been leaked online so there are a lot of guesses as to what the coaster is going to be like as a matter of fact if you get on the search above and look up like point of view harry potter coaster videos you can see some people's ideas of what the coaster is going to be like and if it's anything like these people imagine it it's going to be super crazy so i've been to universal a couple times over the past couple, few months as they've been building it and I've myself noticed a Hagrid's Hut-ish looking building and there's this really big building that's going up that kind of looks like the Great Hall and out of it shoots down this drop track, like, I guess not drop track, just like going down. I don't know coaster lingo, I ain't no coaster junkie. Honestly, coasters kind of frighten me a little bit. But there is an actual drop track we know in the ride, so it's gonna be up and then all of a sudden it's just going to drop straight down like while you're still looking forward not you going down and it's rumored that that might have to do with getting caught in some 
double snare. Recently, there are photos leaked online of the cars for the coaster. They kind of look like a flying motorbike with a sidecar. So we'll see how that turns out. Another thing that we don't know the date of, but is for sure coming in 2019, is the mobile game Harry Potter Wizards Unite from Niantic. Now Niantic has made the Pokemon Go game, and so it's been rumored for a while that this is kind of going to be a Harry Potter Go game, which would be really, really cool because I love immersive games like that. And if I can run around and do things and collect things in my real neighborhood, like I'm actually in the Harry Potter universe, I would kind of be living a little childhood or maybe still adulthood fantasy. A teaser trailer just recently came out for the game and it kind of looks like we all might be Aurors in this game, which is pretty exciting. Other than that, the game's kind of in question. We don't know a whole lot. It was originally slated, I believe, to come out at the end of 2018. They pushed it back. As soon as I know a release date or any more information about the game, I will share them to the Simply Potter Facebook page, which is where I share all of the news from the Wizarding World 2. So if you want to give it a follow, I will put a link to that in the description below as well. So you can be up to date on that and all of the other Wizarding World news. All right, time for some confirmed date events going on in 2019. The first that I'm super excited about is MistyCon in Terrytown, New York on July 18th through the 21st. Now I have not gone to MistyCon, this will be my first one this year, so I can't really speak about it a whole lot. I had a friend that I saw at LeakyCon who could not recommend it enough to me and a couple friends. What I do know about it is that it's a fully immersive Potter fan experience. From my understanding, they take over part of a hotel or maybe the whole hotel. Like I said, I haven't gone, so I don't know. I have seen the preliminary schedule for MistyCon that just came out a few days ago, and it looks like there are events going on most days from like 9 a.m. until 2 a.m. So. There's plenty of things going on. Sounds like it's gonna be a blast. MistyCon only happens once every other year and this is an on year for it. So maybe I will see some of you guys there. The next Harry Potter event that I'm particularly super stoked about, which I'll explain why in a minute, is Wizard Reverse in Riverside, California on September 28th. This is the sister event to Dryacon in the UK. It's the first time this event will ever be held in the US and it, it should be a really, really good time. On Wizardry vs. Facebook and Instagram accounts, they've been announcing guests, which include Chris Rankin, who plays Percy Weasley, Josh Hardman, who plays Goyle, and James Payton, who plays Frank Longbottom. And I've met two of those three people and they're really super awesome. It should be a really good time if it's anything like Dryacon. And I did a video on Dryacon actually, so if you want to check out what Dryacon's like, I'll pop a link to that in the description below too. And like I said, I'm really, really jazzed about this event because I will be doing the actor Q&A panels for the event, which I'm equally as nervous as I am excited about it. So I hope to see some of you there as well. On October 8th of this year, the next illustrated Harry Potter book will be coming out, which is The Goblet of Fire. The last illustrated Harry Potter book that came out was The Prisoner of Azkaban in October of 2017, so it will have been two years since we've had an illustrated edition of the books come out. It's taken a while for it to be illustrated, obviously, because it's one of the bigger books in the series, and I'm really curious to see how big this book is going to be when it comes out, because I have The Prisoner of Azkaban and Sorcerer's Stone here with me. They are both pretty massive books themselves. So you can see, I don't know where Sorcerer's Stone went. This is what happens when you live out of a van and out of a SUV for how many ever months. But here's the first book, and here's the second book. And you can tell that the third one gets significantly bigger than the first. And we know that the fourth Harry Potter book is a lot bigger than the third. So we'll see how big that book ends up being. Now the last Harry Potter event 
that is on my radar for 2019 is LeakyCon. LeakyCon will be celebrating its 10th anniversary where it all started back in Boston this year on October 11th through the 13th. I had to look. I'm really bad at remembering things. I attended my first Leaky Con last year in Dallas and it was so much fun you guys. I can't even describe to you the fun I had, the friends I met. It was a really good time. I'm really excited to go back this year and do some ribbon trading because I had no idea when I went last year that this even went on. Here I'll show you guys the ribbons that I collected. So yeah, this is a thing. <laughs> They're all really, really cool. Here's my favorite one. Snape was still a dick though. It's good. So there are no guest announcements as of yet for LeakyCon, but again, as they come out, I will share them to the Facebook page. Now, I didn't make a video when I went to LeakyCon because at that time, I was still really nervous to film in public, which has changed a lot since then because I filmed by myself <laughs> on Oxford Street in the York Shambles since then, so now I clearly don't give a damn. But then I did, for whatever reason, and I made a video at home talking about LeakyCon, so if you're interested in hearing a little bit more about it, I'll throw a link to that also in the description below. So many things to check out and maybe I will see some of you there. Thank you so much for hanging around till the end of the video. If you are excited for all the Potter things like I am in 2019, be sure to give this video a big ol' thumbs up. And if you're going to any of the events that I'll be at, drop a comment below because I'd love to meet you guys while I'm there. That's why I do these things, is to meet Harry Potter friends because that's what these events are all about. Like I said before, if there's anything that you know about that wasn't mentioned in this video, drop it in the comment section below and let me know because I have to put all of the Potter things on my calendar for 2019. I look forward to reading your comments and until next time, stay magical my friends.